Yeah, Spencer, if you go ahead and take a look behind me, you can actually see that boarded up window. Now that's where the shooting happened, but the situation actually started somewhere else and involved two other crime scenes and finally ended here. Police say it started as a domestic violence situation at one location just about two miles west of this home. The suspect, who we now know is 35-year-old Eric Hagstrom, took off in the victim's car before officers could arrive. As he sped off, he hit another car. Police then tracked Hagstrom here to the home neighbor said he shared with his girlfriend near 42nd Street and Thomas. When they showed up, police say Hagstrom was lying down in the driveway with a gun. He then pointed that gun at officers, causing them to shoot. Hagstrom was taken to the hospital where he died. We spoke with neighbors. They didn't want to be on camera, but they say they were shocked about what they heard and saw. We saw the police cars blocking off the street down here. We saw at least one in the lights. Um, and then about five houses down here, we heard three gunshots. A little shocked. I mean, we've had some other crime in the neighborhood that's pretty severe, but uh, nothing, you know, quite like that. I saw them, the ambulance came, and they were parked over on Wilshire, and they took the body away on a stretcher, and that's all I know. Other neighbors we talked to also say they're shocked. They said Hagstrom was the kind of guy that neighbors could count on. He was always watching out for neighbors' home. Police tell us that Hagstrom did have a criminal history. The good news here is that no officers were hurt. Reporting live in Phoenix, Leon Enriquez for Arizona's Family.